Well, hey there, friendships. Welcome back to another Curtis's Corner. If you are new here, hi, I'm Curtis. This is my corner. It has been a while since I have filmed anything for my channel. I took a little bit of a hiatus. I just wasn't in the mood. Like I've said before, if I'm not feeling myself and doing what I like, I'm not gonna put out any content that's lackluster. But, <laughs> today, it is a Thursday which means it is an unboxing. Now, mind you, we don't always do an unboxing. It's usually once a month, sometimes twice, depending. I've ordered a lot of stuff. To the point where you're gonna think I'm a little bit insane. But, this is gonna be a two-part video. Normally with my unboxings, I will unbox whatever I've received and use the products that I receive in the same video. However, because I have so much stuff, this video is strictly just going to be the unboxing portion of everything, and I will choose some of the products and set them aside so that way I can do a video for you on Monday, which will be part two. So, we're just gonna roll the intro, we're gonna dive in and see what crazy amount of stuff that I've ordered. So, let's go. All right, so first things first, we're gonna ignore how the box looks. I have pre-opened everything. I already know what I've gotten, but I'm going to be showing you what I've received. We're gonna ignore what's happening on the box. I tried to do a thing, it didn't turn out well, and I'm mad about it. So, we're gonna unbox Miss Boxy Charm here. I'm going to go right off the bat though and tell you I was relatively disappointed with this box. While I received makeup, which is what my preferences were. The makeup that I received was not that great. So, first item here is the uh, Touch and Saw Pretty Filter Icy Sherbet Primer. Now, this one, when I saw it, I was like, this is fun. Like, it's like a weird, it looks like it's matte and I was like, ooh, that's cool. And then I smelled it and I was like, you smell like roses. And if anyone knows me, I don't like flower scents, but luckily it's not like super strong, like my very first box that I received where it was just like, I could smell the rose oil through the box without even opening it. So that was intense. So that's that, I'm gonna try that out. I received from Candy R Kinder. I don't know, I'm gonna say it. Kinder Glow, I don't know. Kinder Beauty Kinder Glow Highlight Palette. Now, I was excited. I was like, sweet, highlighter, cool. These are the color choices that I've received. I can use this one, potentially, not entirely sure though. Um, this one confuses me because I don't actually know what shade that will come out of. And this is way too dark for my skin tone. So basically this whole palette is basically useless to me. So that's fun. Thank you for not sending me my shade boxy charm. You literally have my profile and you're not sending me my shade. Speaking of things that are not in my shade or that are too in my shade, um, we have by Molly, which I've never heard of, uh, an Ever Color Shadow Stick Extra Velvet. It's in the shade Ivory. Are you ready for this? Ma'am, this is not going to show up on my skin. So, useless to me as well. Then we have this cheap dollar store ass looking gloss from Illuminati Liquid Luxe Lip Gloss. It's... Oh, I punched myself. The... It feels oily. I just did a swatch. I'm gonna need you to focus, please, thank you. It's very, like, it's very reflective, but it's like, it's very purple. Like, it's not, this, in the component, it doesn't really look purple, but when you swatch it, it's very purple, so it's extremely deceiving. And then I got the Natasha Denona Ayana palette, which, 
for $50, you're literally paying for her name. And it's this. This is, this is the color story. It's all right. I know people have issues with the shimmers, that they're not that great. The mattes are apparently really good. This to me is extremely boring and uneventful and five shades for 50 bucks is ten dollars a shade are you kidding me what's wrong with you your formula is not that great boxycharm aside i also ordered some stuff from sephora i follow someone on instagram and on twitter his name is xander his makeup by the way beautiful if you don't follow him please do but he always every time he does a look he always puts right here his little astrological sign. I'm just like, ooh, that's cute. I wonder where he got it from. So I asked him, milk. So I ordered from Milk Cosmetics a Gemini symbol. So I could just go boop. Because I thought it would be cute to add a little to my looks. On top of that, I ended up getting, I don't really like Too Faced, but I got the uh, Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Gloss. I have already tried it out and it did. It didn't feel tingly, like it did slightly, but I, so I was like, for like 20 bucks or 30 bucks, whatever I paid for it, I was like, really? This is doing nothing. And then I looked like 15 minutes later and my lips were actually bigger. I was like, ooh, okay, okay. So I got that. I got a new eye primer from Morphe that I'm going to be trying. This is a translucent one. And then I also got from Morphe, uh, Out and a Pout Nude Pink Lip Trio. This comes with a lipstick, a lip gloss, and a color pencil for your lippies, your lip liner. So that's fun. Then I got some free things. Uh, I ended up getting the, from One Size Beauty, just a makeup wipe, because it was free. Um, a sample thing uh, from New Face. A line smoothing serum. We're going to try that. Uh, from Buxom, I got another plumping gloss. So that's fun as well. At the end of March, literally March 30th, I went on to kvdbeauty.com because they had a small restock of some of their um, products. So to make it worth my while, I ordered this. It is the uh, Lock It Setting Powder in the shade, I believe I just got translucent. So I wanted to try this out, but the real reason why I went there was because I wanted to get the Good Apple Foundation. So I'm gonna give you a review on Monday using this. All these products, you're gonna get a full tutorial review on a bunch of these products. So stay tuned for that, but I'm really, really excited. I know people have like reviewed this to death, but I haven't. So we're gonna. I then also ordered from Lunar Beauty, I got the Strawberry Dream Palette. Now, if you've never seen this palette, first first and foremost, it is the first one that he created bef that is the same aesthetic as the um, Eternal Eclipse Palette where it's like nighttime and the moon, but we've got this one. It's literally the exact same front, only the color scheme is completely different. One is more nighttime. This is very much Strawberry Dreams, literally the name of the palette. Now, on the inside, we're gonna ignore all the sounds that we can hear because there's slight renovations happening as well. So this is what the palette looks like. I think it is gorgeous. The only ones that really kind of confuse me slightly are the blues because you can't really while well, you can kind of pair them along the lower lash, you can't really put them on the lid, but I'm gonna try and make something work. And I feel like I, or, I already created like a, a look in my head regarding some of these colors. So I'm gonna try and remember the ones that I picked and do something with that. But along with the palette, I also ended up getting the Lunar Beauty. This bag is really like flimsy. Um, Lunar Beauty eye brush set. These are fun and like so soft, super soft. I love the ombre black to white or white to black, however you wanna see it. It looks so nice, so classy. So I will be using this on Monday as well. Two more orders. Woo, we are rushing through, rushing through. Okay, so from Beautylish, they were offering mystery bags. Even though it didn't come in a bag, it, was, it came in a box, whatever. 
false advertisement. Mystery bags, all Jeffree Star products. So I ordered it, it was like 96 bucks. I ended up paying like a hundred and something, 110 I think it was with taxes and whatnot. So in this box that I received, I received seven items, not bad. So first things first, I did receive a mirror. I'm gonna show you which mirror because I don't have this one and I love it. If I had it, I would have sold it, but I don't have this one, so I'm gonna keep it. It is literally silver chrome, love. Probably gonna use that in Monday's video as well. I also ended up getting a Shane X Jeffree Star liquid lip in I Gotta Go. I already have this shade, so this one I am going to be selling, so don't need that. Um, but I am going to be keeping this. This is the Diet Root Beer Lip Scrub from the Shane and Jeffrey collection. This one I don't have. I'm excited to use this. This is wonderful. Uh, I got one of his eyeliners. Uh, this is in the shade Acids. And he only he released five along with the Blood Money collection. And it was, um, they're all just like green shades. So this is the, the shade that it is. Um, as you can see, I'll just do a quick little line right there. It's like a nice deep forest green right there. I like it. It's nice. Oh, and it goes all the way down. Nice. Um, so I will be potentially using this one. We shall see, depending on what look I create, we will see kind of what I want to use. I also received from the Blood Mini Collection as well, a gloss in the shade Untouchable. And this, this, it's very dark. It's like a chocolate color. Usual smell of the creme brulee, beautiful. And it's like, oh yeah, it's like melted chocolate. That's yum. We also got a Supreme Frost in the shade Frozen Peach. Now, the only other Supreme Frost that I do have is Money Honey, so I was excited when I got Frozen Peach because this is literally made for my skin tone, so I'm excited to use that. I will definitely be using this in Monday's video. And yet another Bloodlust palette. This one has already been claimed because I am selling this. This one has already been claimed, so yeah. My last order. I got not one, not two, but three mystery boxes. So in our premium box here, the first box, we got this cute little tie-dye hat. I have already worn this. If you've seen me in person, you might have seen that I was wearing this. Uh, if you've, I don't know if I posted a TikTok. I know I made a TikTok wearing it. I don't know if I actually posted it. But I love it. It's cute. It's fun. It's beautiful. I got a another blue blood palette this would be my third one that i've received i don't need it this one i am going to be selling he's bringing back the pop sockets love this it's cute so whenever one of my two break off of my phone again i'll be replacing it i ended up getting another lip scrub this one is in blue raspberry sucker i smelled it oh my lord it smells so good we have another gloss. This is from the Orgy collection. And this is in the shade Silk Rope. Like this, it's kind of like a nude gray, like a grayish color. It's very light, it's very subtle. I'm not even gonna swatch it because I wanna move along. And I also got the shade Christmas Cookie, which is one of the other shades that I really, really wanted. It is, look at that, beautiful. So I'm probably gonna use this and probably this one together but we'll see in the deluxe box now we have some first edition enamel pin set this is i thought was really cool um i like them they're nice they're cute fun uh i also received this one i was a little disappointed about he sent one two three single shadows and i was like ooh, maybe they're like new shadows this is Life Insurance, Inheritance, and Burial Gown, all shades from the Cremated Palette. So I was a little disappointed because I already have the Cremated Palette, so like, I don't I don't really need the singles. But, I got those. Uh, I got a brand new short, which 
I'm excited to actually see. I have not seen this one. But okay, so the t-shirt. Ooh, okay. So here's the front of it, nice and simple. But then the back is his new logo. I love it. I love it a lot. It's so nice. I love the green and the yellow. Perfect together. Beautiful. All right. So this I can add to my collection of his shirts. Got shade birthday suit. I don't believe I have this one. This is another one. Another nude. It's beautiful. Love it. Uh, I got another lip balm from the Shane collection. Uh, I still have mine. I don't need this one. And I'm really into the whole sativa oil one um, because I find that's a lot better. So I want to order like seven more of those because I really like the formula of that. Uh, I got another one of his eyeliners. This one is in the shade Money Counter. It is this chartreuse color here. <gasps> I just broke it. I wasn't even pushing that hard. Well, that happens. I guess that happens. All right. Cool, 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 cool. And it comes with a little sharpener on the back. That's fun. I saw a TikTok about ColourPop with that. And I was like, ooh. So then I thought I would try it here. And for sure, if you pull off the little color tab, there's a little sharpener that you can just... Innovative. Love it. But as you can see, that's what the swatch looks like. I like it. It's nice. Uh, the other gloss here that I have, also from the Orange Collection, is Pretzel Drip. And it looks like this. It is beautiful. I may also use this. I don't know. Uh, and then... Two things I am selling. Again, this one is spoken for already, uh, but it is the Jawbreaker palette. I already have this. I don't need a second one. So that one is already spoken for and being sold as well with that Blood Lust palette. However, I am also selling this. I just got this in my last mystery box, so I don't actually need a second set of red um, minis. So I will be selling that as well the final box. First things first, we got a sweater. Big ol' sweater. Now, the front of the sweater has the little tiny J star there. It's got like a cyan color with some lavender along the sleeve here. It says cosmetics, which means that probably on this arm it says Jeffree Star. Indeed it does. And then on the back, we have the big giant logo as well. This one will have to go into storage because we're getting into hot weather now, so I will not be wearing this, but love it. It's cute. I'm keeping it. The biggin, the supreme box. All right, let's open this up. So again, orgy palette, don't need it. Gonna sell that. A fourth bloodlust palette, don't need it, selling it. Three more single shadows, again, I, so when I first opened the last one, I was excited, disappointed when I found out that they were just um, cremated shades. This one, I was like, oh, these are probably gonna be a palette I already have shades. And sure enough, these are shade Brain Freeze, shade Jawbreaker, and shade Sour, all from the Jawbreaker palette. Again, why? Why Why make shades that people already have palettes for? I don't, I don't get it. Um, this, I think it's a fanny pack or like a different type of crossbody. No, it's definitely a fanny pack. 100%. But it's... Is it a fanny pack? Does it come with a... What is this? Like, actually, it's... Just, that's it? I don't know what this is. I actually... I thought it was a fanny pack, but I don't know. I don't know what this is. I mean, it's kind of cute, but like, what is it? I don't know what it is. It looks like a little fanny pack type thing, unless it's like a makeup bag, but just like a different kind. I don't know. It's fun. I'll figure out what it is and who knows, keep it or sell it. I'm not sure yet. I got another Extreme Frost. This is in the shade Sour Ice. So the box itself is white. Um, pleather, cushiony, that's the component here. So Sour Ice, it is a white blinding highlighter, but it's got like a green shift to it. So I'm excited to use that as well. Uh, this is another 
mirror. This is the, ooh, the Chocolate Soft Touch Mirror from the Orgy collection as well. Again, a mirror I do not own. So again, I will be keeping this. <gasps> ooh, it's very nice. So that's what it looks like. It is, hi me. It is so beautiful, so soft. It's like, I wanna just eat it. It looks like chocolate. I love it. Last few items. We have the shade Wizard's Glass from the Bloodlust Collection. This is one of his, oh, ooh. So some of these I haven't opened. So this is the first time I'm seeing them as well. So you're getting some genuine reaction. This is, I don't know if you can see the shift in this, but it's like, it's like a gold and a purple and a pink and a blue and a copper. It's just, it's so much fun looking. Again, still the uh, creme brulee scent. Love that. This is, let me be perfectly clear. This is his newest gloss that he's released. Uh, it's the, the clear one. It's not the Shane and Jeffrey one because that one would have a, a silvery top. This one is his own formula and this smells like different. And I can't remember what he said that it smells like. I wanna say it smells like Sprite or Mountain Dew or something, but it smells nice. It looks nice. I'm excited. I might actually use this instead. Mannequin Lip Liner. If you don't know what that looks like, this shade right here, bam. We're just gonna do a nice light line right beside the eyeliner. It looks like that, beautiful, beautiful. And I love his lip liners. They are outstanding pigmentation and formula. Uh, I have the shade Androgyny. I believe I have this already. I'm gonna double check before I say I'm gonna sell it, but that's the shade just in case you're wondering. Uh, Gemini, I will be selling this because I do have this one already. But again, just in case you're wondering, that's what it looks like. It's like a, a, a pinky, orangey, hued nude. And I will be selling this as well because I just bought this, so I'm a little angry that I received this. But this is the shade Medieval Kiss, and it looks like that. It's like a deep, dark, black and purple. And that's it. That's everything that I got in my boxes. So, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a like. Hit that subscribe button because I put videos out every single week, unless I'm taking a hiatus. And hit the notification bell so that way you know when I post a video because if you don't, how will you know when I post a video? You won't, so do it. Now, come back on Monday, watch me create a look. I'm most definitely, because I've used all of these palettes before in the past, I'm most definitely going to use my newest palette, which is the Strawberry Dream Palette. So come back, come follow a tutorial with me, come see my reviews, and uh, see what I create on Monday. But until then, bye friendships.